Hello, future millionaire. Uh, I didn't want to make this video, but it looks like it's inevitable. So I might as well just make this one once for all. It looks like I didn't make a good, I didn't do a good job explaining to everybody what is the plan for 2022 and what is my schedule, what is my intention, what is what is the ultimate goal. So I posted a couple of videos this year, I think two videos so far, and I get pretty much um, some feedback, but most people are pretty negative, thinking I'm abandoning Bitcoin Cash. So I just want to use this video as an opportunity to explain what's going to happen for the next 12 months. It goes like this. First of all, this is not a simple social experiment. This is my way of resetting my age. Got nothing to do with money. I want to know if um, I'm capable of doing that. I always talk about reverse aging, and I don't think anybody who does not know me, look at this video, will think I look like anywhere close to my real biological age, as in uh, clogged in by the vessel. Let's call it this way. You, you judge me any way you want. So whatever you think my age should be, that is the age I am probably at. However, sorry, got distracted. <laughs> Yeah, that's the downside. Uh, when my age gets turned back to 24, you do pay attention to certain things. Okay, back to the topic. So this is a rent video, okay? Uh, for those people who are looking for price guidance, you won't get any. And you won't get any for the rest of this year. There will never be another price guidance coming from me ever again. Let's just put this out squarely so that you can press the button say unsub because you think I'm a scammer I'm a cheat I scam you into Bitcoin cash and then you can walk away angry and thinking you wasted time watching my videos not understanding what is the true purpose of my video okay you done that you're the gong all good all haters don't even need to leave a comment the more comments you leave the higher engagement score I get on YouTube so just disappear now, for everyone else who are left behind, which I truly appreciate your attention, your time, and everything else, I believe you understand my intention with this channel going forward, and with my personal transformation as well. I want you to understand 2022 is probably going to be the most important year of my lifetime, and possibly your lifetime as well. Some background. This year, I truly want to repeat what I did when I was 24, when I first time I was 24 when this vessel was 24. My mind now has been reset to age of 24. You guys have seen the last episode. You see what we did in Pacific Fair with those girls. And when I was in my early 20s, I did that kind of things all the time. I couldn't, I couldn't wait to jump into the next adventure. And this is what I'm doing for 2022. I'm gonna put myself out there for the greatest adventure of my lifetime. The universe is my script writer. I'm gonna do anything that's possible to make the most out of this year. Here's my base, baseline assumption. My lifespan has only one year left. This is the last year of my life, or potentially this is the last year of my public life. Because I lived a very good life before I came on YouTube. My, my life was amazing in anonymity. Most of you enjoy your anonymity, yet uh, cheer on somebody like me who's idiotic enough to expose his private life so that any hackers will hack my phone, not your phone, and anyone who wants to target people who is standing above everybody else, they will target me, not you. That is the reason most people are angry. The, the people who are the most angry about my video right now is not understanding my videos for more than just making money. Those are the same people who produce the least amount of content for everybody else to consume. Just put that into perspective. Okay? So I strongly encourage you, if you have such a strong opinion of me not making any more Bitcoin Cash specific videos, go ahead, you have your phone, you have your camera, use the device you're watching me on, create your own content, don't bitch about me, be a hero, go up to whatever you need to do. Simple as that. Damn. I'm at the right spot, man. <laughs> I, should, I should turn this camera around. I wish I can turn this camera around, show you guys how I can see. Okay. You can imagine, right? I'm at the Burley Head. Uh, this is the most busy uh, walkway. Over there is the National Park. This side is towards the beach. 
all the tourists come here to look at the ocean. I'm looking at all the people surfing right now. In front of me, there's about 30, 40 people surfing. So I'm watching the wave, watching the life, surfing along. Have the beautiful skyline in front of me. My life couldn't be any better. And in about three hours time, or two hours time actually, I need to rush. In two hours time, I'm gonna meet my twin sister. And uh, I will introduce her in the same video Maybe after this, maybe in a separate video, I don't know yet how I cut this thing together. But this is a rent video, maybe I just do this rent video separately. So for those people who don't understand what my intention is, this is a rent, okay? I have had enough. I, I've been nice enough to, to some of you. So it's time to show you what I do when I'm 24, okay? Uh, simple, simply speaking, I'll tell you exactly what's going on. You don't like what you hear. F off. Sorry for the language. That's the reality. Yeah, you don't have the obligation to be here. This is my life, not yours. Okay, now back to the original rant. So, I did 350 videos over a period of seven and a half months in 2021. If there's one person who has done more to promote Bitcoin Cash in 2021, name the guy. I'm happy to hand over the crown to that guy. I don't think there is one, honestly. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching me, right? Bitcoin Cash is a very small community. Let's just face it. It is a tiny community that had trouble growing. So I did my best to try to help to grow the community. However, one person cannot make the rain come down, okay? I'm not a rainmaker. I'm also not God. I, I'm not a universe. I cannot create prizes that will. I can only guide, I can only do what I could do, and I did the best I could. But we are in a version of the universe right now, in the timeline right now, that, uh, that honestly speaking, $500,000 in 2025 is now a very remote possibility. Very remote. Because it looks like right now, the entire crypto market is falling apart, and if we are not careful, the entire crypto market will go into hibernation for the next two, three years. There's nothing wrong with me about it because, look, first of all, let's let's rewind, okay? What's my position in this whole game? What is my my game? I've converted all my assets to Bitcoin Cash over previous three years since 2018, and my average cost in my Bitcoin Cash holding is less than $200. Keep that in mind. And I own three coins, not just one. Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, eCash, because I bought most of my coin before split. And that's the reality. If I sell out, if I could sell out my Bitcoin Cash right now, I'll make 4X on my money after three years holding. Three and a half years nowadays? Yeah, let's say four years. Let's just say four years of holding because started in 2018. Everything's on YouTube, so you can check. Now, after four years, I've done four X on my original investment. You can say, ah, that's not good because you could have bought Bitcoin, you had done 10 X, 15 X, uh, Ethereum would have done 20 X. I agree. I'm the stupid guy. Okay. I'm, I'm the all in guy. This is my system. If I'm not an all in guy, I will be inconsistent with myself. And here's a takeaway lesson for all the young guys out there who think you can do better than I do. Here's a simple thing. There is no such thing as one solution or one investment idea for everybody to copy and paste. If there is one, you have been copy pasted by all the algorithm out there and you have nothing to do. You can't earn anything whatsoever. You have no edge. The true edge you have is to be true to yourself. And my true to myself system is simple. I use all my time, filter everything possible, find the most attractive investment to me risk adjusted speaking to me what is the most attractive investment over a certain period of time that i'm willing to hold that time period for that investment in case of bitcoin cash i know volatility will be high i know we're going to have things like going to two thousand dollars and drop down to five hundred dollars all this kind of stuff because of that i also know myself i'm too much of a temptation guy tempted by trading therefore i time locked my coins time locked my coin and i did it without third party as in third party uh, custodian. So I have direct custodian, but it's time locked, which means 
until end of 2025, somebody could kidnap me, somebody could get a, go, hold a gun to my head, somebody could kill me, someone could poison me, someone could do anything to me or hold me host, hostage for one year, two years, three years. There's nothing, absolutely nothing in the world I could do to unlock my coins until end of 2025. Therefore, I have the peace of mind that most of you guys don't have. Most of you guys think in terms of this week, this month, maybe this year. And most of you guys only think at the market from the perspective, what's your entry price, right? If you bought a thousand dollars, you feel bad. If you bought a 500, you feel good. You still don't get it. That doesn't matter. That truly doesn't matter. Here's my system. I have the ability to hold those coins for seven years from the time when I bought it. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I force myself to do that. Because I force myself to do it, therefore, I'm not tempted to break the rule I set up for myself. The whole idea is very simple. Bitcoin Cash is the greatest digital real estate asset in the world right now. Even back then, it was the best value one, not necessarily the best one. Best value digital asset in the world. Today, it is the best value and one of the best digital asset in the world. That's Bitcoin Cash. I could just make this one video and put on repeat and every day repeat a different scenario and let you guys watch me saying the same thing again and again, which is essentially what I did for seven months. For seven damn months, every day I go out, find different scenery for you guys, promote the city, promote the environment, promote the lifestyle, promote Bitcoin Cash in the process. Do you guys actually know how much time does it take to make those videos? For those who don't know and those bitching about what I do, I challenge you to go out and do seven videos in seven days. I don't care what video. Just go on YouTube, use your phone, make seven videos, post in seven days consecutively. That's all you need to do. If you can do that, my head off to you. And I will help you promote your channel as much as I can. The truth is, it's damn hard, okay? It is damn hard to do what we do. I'm, I, when I say we, I'm talking about those active participants in this community. Not the people who just write a command. Then you are not really active. The true active investors are the ones who put themselves out there, who willingly identify themselves with the investment and, and are not afraid of carrying the risk of being ridiculed, ridiculed publicly for potential failure for investment. I haven't even failed this investment yet. The only thing I failed at is not performing as much as some other coins. But that was never my intention. That was never my intention. All I want is outperform S&P. That's it. Right now, I'm still mildly outperforming S&P. If this bear market continue going, very soon I will underperform S&P. And I wouldn't be happy. And other than that, I'm pretty good. I'm doing well. So you, if you don't like my content because I'm no longer just focusing on Bitcoin Cash, sorry, go find someone else who's doing it. There will be plenty of people if just, but honestly, the best thing you can do, create your own content and enjoy yourself in the process. For me, this was everything I did in the last seven, eight months in 2021 is a screen test, a screen test to see what is my endurance? What's my personal endurance? This was literally started out as a 30 day challenge to myself. Can I post 30 videos in 30 days? And that was all I wanted. And after the 30 days, I got such a positive feedback loop for myself, from the community and so on. So I continued. I didn't know how long can I last. I literally did not know how long can I last. Every single effing day, go out, make video for a largely invisible audience to me. There's only like a dozen of people who communicate with me right now over the YouTube forum. There's a lot more people communicate with me in private, but I'm not gonna expose those. But in the YouTube forum, there's about uh, 20, 30 names that keeps coming back and writing comments. And 99% of people who watch me never do a damn thing. You know, you know that, you know that. You watch me like a, like a cartoon, cartoon character, and, um, and and enjoy yourself and not thinking the slightest about the the time, effort, energy goes into the production. I'm not blaming you. I took on the responsibility. I enjoyed every minute of it. The very reason I'm much more confident now in speaking to many people on camera is because of this exercise. One video minimum a day for seven months straight 
It's damn hard. Okay? Damn hard. Try it. Try it. I challenge you to try it. <laughs> and and this that to make sense, right? Those videos, they're not renting videos like this one I'm doing right now. This video doesn't need to make sense whatsoever. I don't care. I just uh, recorded as it is. Oh, by the way, um, since it's a rant, let me just share something else interesting about 2022 with you. Since I told everyone that only resource I'm going to put into social experiment is my 150 Bitcoin Cash has already shown to everybody, which by the way, I paid only $27,000 for, and currently it's worth about $80-something thousand dollars in Bitcoin Cash alone, and another, I think, five or $10,000 in eCash. So, altogether, that wallet alone is up 4x or 5x, I'm not even sure. Of course, at one point in time, it was almost $300,000, but I don't care. The key is this, I'm putting that money into this experiment plus two cars. One car you are seeing me right now, another one is the Z4, which I'm still selling. I'm getting offers in, but I think I priced the car too high or the demand has dropped off the cliff. I don't know. I'm going to lower the price, get the car sold, move on from that, definitely. But this car, here comes the announcement. For the first time ever, I make this public. I'm not gonna make this a surprise. To minimize the cost of living, because this is the only resource I'm making available for the social experiment, I'm going to sleep in a car like this. From here onwards, I'm gonna convert this car into a sleeping van. And this will become the smallest EV camper van in the world. And I will be able to go anywhere I want to go as long as the law allows me. You know what's so cool? Because I gain my freedom back. I've been stuck here in Queensland in the beautiful paradise for the last two years. Can't go anywhere because I'm not vaxxed, okay? I'm not vaxxed. And is COVID difficult to achieve, to catch? Yes, no. It's not difficult to catch COVID, it's super easy. Barely any inconvenience. Okay, that's the reference to another channel. Um, uh the um truth is virtually every person i know now just caught covid that's last week because the current um current variant is so contagious that you can't escape it the cool part is based on the research i've done ma um, medically speaking and this is not a medical advice so don't sue me if you die from covid um if you're not vaxxed you're more suitable for fight off with your natural immunity against the um, Omicron variant. And based on my personal experience and on um, the experience of other people I know, that is indeed the case. I caught COVID, now today is the seventh day of my COVID journey. On um, first day and second day, I had the light symptoms. I had some um, fever, I had a um, headache, and that was it. I didn't even have a runny nose, I didn't even have a cough. I had a little bit of congestion in the chest a little bit for a while, for three days. But all in, I was uh, symptom-free after four days. Today is the seventh day, so I've been absolutely symptom-free for seven days. And my energy level is higher than ever. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm out about, I never left, uh, I never stayed at, at my uh, tent to uh, sleep in or any of that stuff. I live my life as normal. Okay, this, this rent is going to be long, so I'm going to try to conclude this as soon as I can. So in all in all, what I'm saying is, because I'm not vaxxed, I can't fly, I can't live in a hotel, they won't allow it, and I cannot go to a lot of public places. The only thing I can do is drive around in my car and visit people, or go to a campground, or something like that. And that's what I'm going to do in 2022. I'm going to go to a lot of places, a lot of places around Australia. I'm going to meet tons of people. I'm going to do exactly the same stuff I did in my early 20s, the first time round. This is my second time round at my 20s again. So for all the girls out there who are watching me, I'm 24 this year. Don't get deterred by my hair. That is just genetic. I can't change that. But you know what? My natural hair color is light brown anyway. It's not really black. So. Uh, other than that, I'm good to go for every dope stuff we do, okay? Uh, yeah, damn, nice view here, seriously. I literally got super lucky today with this seat. Uh, okay, you know what? I just turn around, give you guys some view that I get, okay? And just like that, Miss Sammy entered the scene. I swear 
to the universe and thank to the universe for sending me an angel like that. Look at that perfect setting. <laughs> I did not know her. I did not plant this angel. And she put herself in front of the car in a perfect position. I was absolutely admiring her pose. It looks elegant, graceful, and absolutely breathtaking. I, I was taken away by, by the absolute grace and beauty she radiated from herself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a connoisseur of beauty. And for me, it is not about sexual tension. It's about beauty that generates um, positive vibration in every human being. And when I see something so natural, so beautiful in front of me, I can't help myself but stare and admire. And also, during this period of time, I was thinking, should I just uh, enjoy the experience? Or should I actually go outside and talk to this lady? Because I haven't even seen her face. I literally, whatever you are seeing right now is what I was seeing. And I was so intrigued by this young lady that at the end of the video that I made, I decided to just go out and talk to her because I thought she must have been sent by the universe because we need a female cast for our show. And who else would I cast if I don't cast her? So after this video finished, what I did is I just literally walk out of the car, introduce myself very politely and told her what I do, told her about the show and Sammy, for the first time, you actually properly listen to my voice without a noise. You know, we, uh, this, um, this show has only good intentions. And I know this whole thing looks a little bit voyeuristic, but you can see I did not purposely set this up. I'm literally just get, got extremely lucky with the position of the car, plus you came into the frame at the perfect time. I don't believe in coincidences in life because everything happened in my life is never coincidental. So let's explore the opportunity here. Let's promote your music. We talked about your music. We talked about your passion. And I truly really enjoyed our experience together. And it was a pity that you have to fly in a few hours' time. Otherwise, I would have easily taken you out for dinner just talk more about this. Yeah. No other intentions other than just getting to know you. All right. And guys, this is how you take opportunities into your own hand whenever they come across. See ya.